Hey guys, this is a page from Vue.com and a few days back, Microsoft released its first preview of Android app support in Windows 11. So how is the Android app experience on Windows 11? Can you install Play Store on it? Can you sideload Android apps on Windows 11? How does it compare to say something like BlueStacks? Well, I have been testing things out and while this is a very early preview, this gives us a pretty good idea of the whole Android apps experience on Windows 11. So yeah, let's check it out. So this is Windows 11's beta build running on the laptop and I have the Windows subsystem for Android, which is the core tech behind Android app support on Windows installed. Now, I think you know that Microsoft has brought Android app support with the Amazon App Store. So the Microsoft Store shows Android apps, but it sends you to the Amazon App Store to install these Android apps, which is fine. But the Amazon App Store on Windows 11 is in preview and right now it only has a few apps like Kindle, Comixology, etc. And I was having issues logging into it in India because from the looks of it, it's US only right now. Now, what we did is we installed the Google Play Store on Windows 11. There's actually a way to do that. See, we have a step-by-step -step guide in the description if you want to try it out. Anyway, as you can see, I have the Play Store app pinned in the taskbar. Now, to give you an idea, all Android apps that you install show up in the start menu. No matter where you've installed it from, be it the Amazon App Store, Play Store, or even if you've sideloaded them. Yes, you can sideload Android apps on Windows 11, even though it's not as simple as downloading an APK and just double clicking on it. Anyway, apart from the start menu, Android apps can also be pinned to the taskbar and you can even search for them like this. Now that's not all, you can even resize Android apps. For example, here I am resizing the YouTube app and the animation is a bit clunky, but it sort of works. I can even take it to the full screen and apart from resizing Android app windows, I can even snap them like this, like your regular windows app. And I also noticed that turning on the dark mode in windows turns on the dark mode in these Android apps, which is pretty cool. Now let me make it clear that not all Android apps play well with resizing or snapping, but hopefully when this arrives in a stable form, things will work better. And if we're talking about the Android app experience, well here I am launching the Play Store and as you can see it shows starting Windows subsystem for Android and this is the Play Store. Yep, this is the Play Store we all know from our Android phones and like most Android apps, it works like it's supposed to and it even works well with the laptop's keyboard and mouse. I mean, I have my account logged in, which was not an issue. I can search for apps like say WhatsApp. I can even install it and yeah, it all works very well. I mean, it's super buggy and sometimes it's very unstable because it just crashes and not all apps are available, especially games. But yeah, this works. Now, I did not just check out the Play Store. I obviously installed a lot of popular apps to you know check out the experience. So first up, I installed YouTube, which opens up like this in a sort of tablet mode, I think. And it works really well. I can navigate around the usual UI. I can play short videos, which as you can see work fine. I can even play a full-fledged YouTube video and like or dislike a video. But one thing is I could not see the comment section when the app was in this tablet sort of size or in full screen. But you know what? I can resize the app to a more phone-like aspect ratio. And well, there's the comment section. I also tried out Instagram, which in true Instagram style remains in portrait, even if I resize it or put it to full screen. Now the scaling is nice, so there's no weird distortion. Anyway, browsing the Instagram Android app on Windows 11 is almost flawless, be it the regular timeline, or even the real section, or even the explore page. I can even like posts, view the comments, and comment myself. I can also send messages. It's all good, but there is one thing. See, Android apps, I think right now, don't have access to the laptop's webcam or the laptop storage. Because as you can see, the camera does not show up and there's nothing in the gallery too. Now I did try moving some photos from the laptop storage to the files app on the Windows subsystem for Android, but that does not work yet. Apart from this, I also did not get notifications from Instagram, which is something that might be fixed because I was getting these notifications from apps like Prime Video, Facebook, Play Store, Google, etc. and Windows 11's native notification center, which is pretty cool. Anyway, apart from this, I also tried out WhatsApp and it works. So this is WhatsApp and I was able to log in pretty easily and as you can see, I can send messages, even check out statuses, although like Instagram can't send photos from the laptop or access the camera for video calls. But you know what? The mic from the laptop is actually accessible by these apps, which means I can make voice calls from right here in WhatsApp. So these Android apps are getting mic access, which makes me think they'll get camera access in the future stable version. Now, apart from messaging apps, I also installed some entertainment apps on Windows 11 like Netflix and Prime Video. So Netflix, first of all, did not work. It's stuck on the Netflix logo or sometimes this error pops up. 
Prime Video, on the other hand, runs almost flawlessly. It remains in portrait while browsing, but turns to landscape when I play a show or a movie, and the video playback is no problem. Sound and picture both work fine, and you get all the controls like subtitles, zoom, etc. Now moving on to games, BGMI is not available on the Play Store on Windows 11 and I sideloaded it but I got an error and I'll not recommend you to try it on Windows 11 because I have seen that some accounts are getting banned so don't try that. But yeah, I tried out a few other games on Windows 11. So first up I played Dead Trigger 2 which does not support keyboard controls but I was sort of able to play it with the mouse mimicking touch controls and as you can see it's just not a great experience but the game looks smooth and there's no lag. I also played Sniper 3D which does not support keyboard controls again and again I was using touch controls via the mouse. Anyway the game looks great visually and the performance was also pretty good be it while playing in landscape window or in full screen. Lastly I also tried out Asphalt 9 which does not support the keyboard controls even though it's there in the settings as you can see. I mean the escape key works fine but that's pretty much it. Now you can play it via mouse using touch controls but the game is extremely laggy and just unplayable even though the CPU and GPU usage are kind of fine. Now coming to the conclusion, what do I think of the overall Android app experience on Windows 11? Can it replace emulators like Bluestacks? Well answering the Bluestack question first, see Bluestacks has been here for quite some time and it's still more refined, better in terms of gaming and performance. I mean in Bluestacks you can play games like Asphalt without any lag as you can see the performance is really good and there's so many features that Bluestack brings like game controls, key mapping, easy APK installation and there's so many options to choose from plus Bluestacks is just more refined and optimized when it comes to performance. I mean to give you an idea Bluestacks takes up around 100 MB of RAM with the Play Store running. On the other hand the Play Store or WSA aka Windows subsystem for Android takes around 2 gigs of RAM as you can see. So that's a big difference when it comes to performance and optimization. Now I'll be honest it's not fair to judge the Android app experience on Windows 11 just yet. I mean this is a very early preview. But one thing is clear Android app support natively on Windows 11 just makes Windows more powerful. I mean, if Microsoft can fix all the bugs, the inconsistencies, the unoptimized RAM and CPU usage, then this could be very, very useful. See, if you ask me, most of the apps I've tried are either through the Play Store, which is not officially supported yet, or via side loading. So I'd say this is a good start to what could be a native Android apps experience on Windows 11. It'll probably take some time before Microsoft brings a stable version of this, but with the developer and user interest I'm seeing, I'm hoping we'll see Android apps running flawlessly on Windows 11. Well, here's hoping. Anyway, what do you guys think of Android app support on Windows 11? Comment down below your thoughts. Also, all of our guides are in the description, so make sure to check them out if you want to try this on your PC. Also, give this video a like because, come on, this video deserves a like. Also, share this video, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. That's me signing off. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.